Well, the United States Senate is going to be debating the Leahy Specter Dodd bill to restore habeas corpus uh, this week. In fact, the debate will begin in the next uh, number of hours, in fact, either today, tomorrow. But it's an important battle, an important issue. Uh, habeas is, most of you know, is one of the most fundamental rights, predates the Constitution of the United States, goes back to the Magna Carta. The basic idea that you can't be held indefinitely without knowing what you've been charged with and have a right to defend yourself. It's a basic principle of law and the rule of law. It's also about our security. Uh, I, I am really angry about this notion that you have to make a choice between being more secure or, or, uh, or giving and, and to have to give up rights. Uh, I think that's a false choice. In fact, I think we're less secure when you give up rights uh, here. We've seen that happen too often in the past. This is a right that is as fundamental as any right there is. And the fact is, we hurt ourselves terribly at home. We lose our advantage internationally by shying away from internationally held principles of law, uh, ones that we've articulated and argued for for decades. Going back to the Nuremberg trials, which the United States insisted upon, other nations joined us, but reluctantly, but we established the moral high ground by even providing a trial to some of the worst human rights violators in history uh, at the Nuremberg trials. Today you mentioned Nuremberg and it conjures up a moment of high moral authority by the United States. Say the words Abu Ghraib in Guantanamo and ask what the world reacts to or how Americans react to it. So I would ar strongly argue that we're less secure, more vulnerable, more isolated today as a result of these policies and that if we'd reassert our leadership internationally by embracing these values, then I think we do a, go a long way to enhancing our security. So the habeas debate is an important domestic debate. It's an important international relations debate of who we are, what we stand for, regaining the moral authority around, around the world. It's going to be a close vote. It can go either way, quite candidly. So we'd ask you to sign on as a co-sponsor to Habeas Corpus Restoration Act. And I urge you to uh, contact uh, senators from your states and ask them to be supporting this, the Leahy Specter Dodd bill on habeas corpus. And you can do all of this at restorehabeas.org. Thanks for listening, and let's get involved in this one. It's a big deal.